How did working uh, for a University of Michigan business school professor and author, Noel Tishy shape your view on what's possible in a business career? Working for Noel Tishy was, it was it's probably the hardest job I've ever had, <laughs> right? Because, you know, the, the expectations of, you know, what I was supposed to do, you know, he didn't really set them, but he just kind of left them out there and unknown. But I kind of built it up in my mind that, you know, what I was doing was so critical to his operation. Yeah. And, you know, in, in reality, looking back, it probably wasn't. But, you know, what I had to do was, you know, he would be meeting with all these CEOs about leadership. So he'd go meet with the CEO of Ford and the CEO of, you know, all the different banks and all the stuff. And so he would call me up and, you know, on like a Tuesday and he'd be meeting on a Wednesday and he'd be like, I need a briefing. And I'm, I'm like, okay, what's a briefing, right? I mean, I don't want to sound stupid. So I'm like, sure, no problem. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm like, all right, well, how am I going to do this? And so, you know, so it took me a couple tries to kind of work through it. But, you know, I mean, I work all night, you know, to get, right, right. you know, to get this thing going because there's a short deadline. And, um, you know, I was just trying to do the best I could, you yeah. know, with, with what I had. And so, I mean, working for him, you know, I think in retrospect, I see now that, I mean, you know, he didn't really need the stuff that I was doing. I mean, it was helpful to him. And if I hit it on the head, great. But if I didn't, you know, he certainly wasn't going to not be able to talk to these guys. Right. You know, he's going to talk about leadership. I mean, he knows that stuff's pretty cold. But, um, you know, it was really just the, the responsibility of, you know, I, I need to take it on. I need to take it on and do it. And, you know, he is one of the guys where every time I went to work, I learned something. Yeah. And, you know, not that I haven't learned from other people I've worked with, but never to that extent. Really? You know, every day was, I mean, you were just like, this guy is a superstar. And it was, Superstar. How did he impart his knowledge? Was it just through, through watching him work or through conversation or through how, yeah. how he can, what, what he felt was important? Yeah. Yeah, uh, through conversation, um, you know, he did a lot of this, right? So he would interview people about leadership. Yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, I probably watched, you know, hundreds of hours of footage trying to help him, you know, get, you know, clips and stuff for books. And, um, you know, the way that you just, you just got the sense that he was always thinking about it in a very big way. And you just knew he could pull it off. You know, he had that you know, element about him where you're like, of course he's going to succeed at this. He was a confident dreamer. Yeah, he, he could he could dream big and he would go out and do it, you know. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool.